Welcome to Autopilot's training video series designed to help you get the most from your Profit Pilot system. This video will cover an overview of the back office software. Now let's begin. We'll start with an overview of how the Profit Pilot works. First you have your point of sale system. This is used to make sales transactions at your car wash. The cashier will select different wash packages for sale and then of course collect payment. Payment could be cash, check, or credit card. Every sales transaction has data. That transaction data is then automatically uploaded through the internet to the autopilot centralized servers. All transaction data is then stored on the servers. The servers are redundant and they're also backed up nightly. Once your data is stored on the server, it can then be accessed from any internet connection. The process of uploading the transaction data is automatic and does not require any user intervention. Once uploaded to the centralized servers, the data is immediately available on www.profitpilot.net. You'll access your data through a piece of software we call the back office. All of your system configuration is always completed from the back office software and any changes that you make are transmitted to the point of sale via a batch. The back office software enables you to view your sales dashboard, run reports, and make price changes, add new items, or set employee permissions. The beauty of the back office software is that it is a completely web-based system. All data is stored on the centralized autopilot servers. This means that you can access your data from a laptop that might be in your home office, your smartphone if you're on the road traveling, or maybe the manager's computer at the car wash. It doesn't matter where you are, all that matters is that you have some type of a device with internet access that you can open up the www.profitpilot.net website. From that website you'll enter your username and password, log in, and be able to see all of your system data. Now we'll take a quick look at how to navigate through the back office software. You'll want to start with this video first so that you have the necessary information to navigate through the rest of the training videos in this series. We'll begin by logging into your system. Open up an internet browser window and access www.profitpilot.net. You'll want to enter your user ID and your password. Click the login button to load the system. If you don't know your username and password because your system is brand new, you'll want to contact Autopilot Technical Support to obtain this information. This is an example of the back office software. We'll run through a quick overview of how the system works and how you'll navigate through it. First we'll look at the menus across the top. You have your dashboard which includes all of your sales information, the customers tab which is your complete customer database, the Employees tab which manages all of the different employees who will be working at the facility and anybody who will need to log in or out of the system. The Promotions tab are all your different marketing and promotional programs such as loyalty points, coupons and discounts, gift cards, and wash books. The Items tab has all items that are going to be available for sale in your system. This would include your wash packages, merchandise, services, and any other item that is for sale. The Reports tab is all available reports in the Profit Pilot system. You can generate the report from here and then view it on the screen. All reports can also be exported and printed. The Cash Management tab controls all cash coming into the facility. This would include a point of sale station or an HTK pay station. This module enables you to cash out your cashiers at the end of the sales day. And finally, the Setup tab has all of your global settings within the Profit Pilot. This would include customizing things like your receipt, setting up automatic email and text reports, or programming buttons to display on your point of sale. In the Profit Pilot, when you click one of the top tabs, you'll also see additional submenus on the left hand side of the screen. From any submenu, you can choose any of the options available. When you select an option, it will be displayed in a new screen. Make your necessary changes and always be sure to click the Submit button to save them. You may also see additional actions that are located in a pink box underneath the gray submenu box. Anytime additional actions are available for the window that you're in, you'll see them in the pink box. Simply choose that action to perform it. When managing your data, for example in the Items tab, you'll also see additional icons on the right hand side of the screen. The Wrench icon in the Edit column allows you to open that item to view additional details. 
For example, in the $10 wash we can now make a price change, change the department it's assigned to, or perhaps update the description. Once our changes are made, we can then click Submit to save them. You also have a delete icon on the right hand side of the screen to delete any item that's selected. There are three additional tabs in the Profit Pilot system. The Training tab will open a new window with the Pilot School. This is an online documentation system of all the functions in the Profit Pilot. The Development tab will display new features currently in development for Autopilot. You can view all features that are currently being worked on as well as add a new idea to this window. And finally, the Upgrades tab is a list of all releases that have been sent down to your system. Remember, Profit Pilot is a cloud-based system and so all upgrades are sent down automatically. It does not require any intervention from you. If you'd like to see if a release has been sent down to your system, you can simply check the Upgrades tab. Clicking the Profit Pilot homepage tab will simply return you back to the homepage for your Profit Pilot. When you're done using your Profit Pilot, you can simply click the Log Off option. Keep in mind that if your system has been idle for more than 10 minutes, the Profit Pilot will log you off automatically. This is a security feature of the software. Clicking Log Off will simply return you back to the login screen. This has been an overview of how to navigate through the back office software. For more detailed information on how to set up your options and maintain them, you'll want to refer to the individual training video in that section. This concludes the back office overview video. We hope you found the information helpful and informative.